WJBW is made possible by sausage. Stick one in your mouth. I hear a little bit of feedback in the mic. These charges are not live. Hey, welcome to uh, the JBWWDDWDD.com or RevRevShow.com. Oh, yes! <laughs> Fucking asinine. Can you give me a message? I love you! Holla at you. Ow! Ooh, girl. Seriously. Hello, Papa. Some shit like Some that. Shit you gotta like do that. the rocket mount. Oh, yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Boy, boy. Get everybody getting the rocket mount right. All right, what's up, babies and gentlemen out there? Welcome to WJBW Networks. Hey, man. Proudly presents the JB Rev Show. I think the the Rev over there has lost his voice a little bit. Welcome. I know, right? What's the matter? Wow. Why are you bound to fuck everything up I got? It seems like. What do you, hey, you want to (sighs) go like key my car out there? I already did that, man. Oh, you did. What's the matter with your voice? This is not what we're paying for. I had a kick ass time this weekend, (laughs) man. You can barely barely talk. Kick ass time. Yeah, you must have been yelling and screaming a lot, I guess. That's what I do. Are you going to look? I do, I do. That is what you do. All right. I listen to the show. Do you? I do, I do. You're real bassy, too. Hold on, man. That's what I mean. You are already bassy. Yeah. Come on, man. So you had a good time. I had a good time. We'll get into that. Seven thirty tonight. We have a call with Peter from uh, Scotch uh, and a good Peter, conversation. Peter from Scotch and a conversation. Yeah. Scotta Mc Scotta McPeach. Uh, and got a peach. Scotta Mc and the Giant Peach. Scotta Peach. Uh, so yeah, that'll be seven thirty. You can enjoy that with us. So we'll learn a little about that show. It's a cool thing he does. Uh, similar to uh, you yes. know something else out there, perhaps as well, yeah. where you uh, interview everyday talented uh, people that are badasses. And uh, there's no, yeah, there's nothing in there. No buddy. daily dose. Yeah, sorry. It's not. Uh, I was so excited gone. there for a second. It's already gone. <laughs> then you saw my disappointment. <laughs> We're going to get. I almost uh, threw it across the room. What? Well, you, uh, it was crazy. It's election day 2016. Is that, that is today. I hope you've already early? voted. I did not. I did not. I voted did you today. Vote today. I actually voted today. Just too. before I came came over here. And, uh, I did it after was, work uh, today. Was, yeah, you did? Yeah. Yep. It was so much easy. It was easy. It was totally be, easy. It was breezy, beautiful <laughs> cover girl. It was lit. <laughs> it was. Uh, uh, all um, right, so what do you want to? How do you want to break away with some music here? We were going to do that. We well, want to welcome you. Welcome you got like four zero seven three seven nine nine five two nine. Just yawn over there. Hey, Cut his mic. Hey, hey, welcome hey. back, dude. Shut that guy up. Yeah, well, shut him down. Okay. Yeah. I'm shutting people down. So hey, what all kind right. of music are we going to be listening to? Uh, so let's see here. I have uh, a little bit of belay. Lit, oh, okay. Which is always fun. Yeah, I like the uh, belay. You got some yeah. beebs? I got, uh, no, I don't. I got a little eye resolution I was going to back that up with. Back it up. Uh, you ever, you ever see eye res out there? They're kind of. Uh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, they're good though. They're good sound. They, I they're, bet they are. They're kind of uh, reggae. I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, okay, you're gonna be the. If right. This shit sucks, man. I'm gonna okay. be like, what the you fuck? Cut it off. Hey, okay, you, you do absolutely nothing phone. to contribute for the music of my phone. I know. Oh, what do you want to see? Yeah, yeah. Oh, a Republican uh, Rand Paul of Kentucky, uh, Tim yeah. Scott of South Carolina, was assassinated. Oh, who cares? All right, Donald Trump wins Indiana and Kentucky. I don't care. I'm not fucking CNN. I don't care. Yeah. Who cares about that? Right. I know. Enjoy this. Music will be right back. WJBWnetworks.com. You be lucky. Freeze the pocket against the art, motherfucker with the real Staring all we shoot for stars, but rather no matter. 
matter the weather, we rather the storm. Dressing all other black brothers is norm. Blood pressure for cheddar is warm. Pleasure for money, the pressure is on. Forever stay pressure the better. No peddlers, no competitors. My medicine never give up with I'm sipping the cup. Slow down, slow up. Wait till the beat comes. Drop with the beat drum. Rub up my bum, girls wanna have the heart. Dumb, dumb, get rum. Let's have some fun under the sun. Drug, drugs, we're gonna stop function drunk in public. Sip, sip, come and get lit. Yeah. Like I lost my way, I lost my day Working in the murder plantation And if you're living then you got to pay You got to stay rooted in a good foundation Good vibration, good vibration Good meditation, good real revelation With patience, my got to my day, man That's where them station But I'm on my own, but I'm dip on my own So I'm a dip on my own, so I'm a dip on my own, man And Jamaica, I'm a come from the day I roam The day alone The nine to five is like a suicide The overnight is like a do or die for life will pass you by So much, too much problems in the world Problems in the world War and strife and I know there's more to life More to life, I said so much Too much problems in the world Problems in the world War and strife and I know there's more to life There's more to life And can't eat, and can't sleep Can't see the world's in need And I lead the youths and I feed The girls and one breed and leave them with sleep I beg you come to your senses, fire them senses, your life is cheap, gas is expensive, who have the leverage, taxing the beverage, taxing the debt, even you born here, I come on your fair rock, telling them let go, your people won't live, I free you tomorrow, we travel to my scars, compare you, the way they want, the dead that I call you, and even if I'm brass, I'm down in the door, but life is the same, I should be glorious, and not porous, porous, so much, too much problems in the world. Warm and strong, then I know there's more to life, more to life. I said so much, too much problems in the world. Problems in the world. Warm and strong, then I know there's more to life, there's more to Problems in the world, problems. 
problems in the world War and strife and I know there's more to life More to life, I said so much Too much problems in the world Problems in the world War and strife and I know there's more to life There's more to life Welcome back, WJBWnetworks.com. That's the site. That's where you do it. Uh, we are. Your microphone is on. It's, man, it's your on voice. Oh, man. You sound like, wait, wait, no. Hey, man. You sound like. Let me uh, tell you something, bro, about what's going on, man. Macho Man Randy it's Savage. It's goddamn right? election day, brother. Yeah. And I tell you what, uh -huh. it's time to vote. Yeah. I'm voting on vodka. You go do that. You, go do that. Nah, you know, I'm voting on red wine. What? <laughs> okay. What is this slop? Yeah, it's red what? wine. That's Pinot. Is this a table wine? It's Pinot. Pinot. I don't know. Pinot I don't water. know how to answer that question. It is de uh, de most, delightful. Most sincerely. Yes, oh, it's say. delightful. It's delightful. You, you enjoy it. All right, very good. You. Very good. Well, the Reverend in studio across oh, the way, a bunch of uh, misadventures, adventures, as you would say, I guess. Uh, no, it's been a while you since You couldn't come in last week because you were raging too hard the night before at the Mac Sabbaths. I correct? was. You were, yeah. All right, man. I'm not a spring chicken and now, anymore. Let I know, you but you, you, you gotta, you know, maybe, I, dude. I can't slow down. Do I'm the gonna, party. I light. told you, I'm gonna. Nope, no, 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 no. I gotta nope, get it nope. all in while okay, I can, okay, dude. Right, come on. That's a, not a good way to look. <laughs> that's not a good. All right. <sighs> this is not a therapy. Is that you breathing? What? <laughs> What is this? What? Life is short, man. Okay, man. You know Don't saying, start dude? wheezing over there. Come on. Our demographic is already... <laughs> All right. But that. Man, life okay. is short. Okay. Just gotta embrace life is, it. Thanks for the... Uh, embrace in, the love, Inspirational man. words. Hey. What you got? Uh, what do you get? I don't know. I'm glad this election is over, and I think it's I want not to over, man. We don't know people. who won. Well, that's what I'm saying. Encourage people tonight. Uh, we're going to go until about eight thirty or so, and uh, you can call us four zero seven three seven nine nine five two nine. Grab, grab a pussy. We're expecting a call. Go. No, we're expecting a call here Trump in just up. a minute. Wow, what a hell of a I'm with her lead in that is. I grab a pussy. Uh, I'm with her. Why are you still so damn? Hey, man. Like you're on you a church don't, don't microphone. Don't put trouble on my voice. Man. What? what the hell's going Trump. on? Man? No, don't I'm taking trouble. Oh, how's don't that? put any trouble in my voice. There's no, a, man. Oh, yeah. Come on. I no, took all the bass out. No, Tell me to okay. put the bass back in. Okay. Oh, you, 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 you don't put the bass back in. I well. will. All right. So. You, I can hear you wheezing. You can, Okay. Take a break over there. I'm, I'm the, Darth Vader, man. Like, Come on, man. Damn. All right. I'm Wilford Brimley. Hey there. To sell me some good. That's why I say. Oats or some shit. Man. You gotta take it easy, brother. Gus Gus. Uh, don't, goose Goose. Uh, okay, so exactly. tell us goose, about goose. something I know that you're probably gonna get interrupted with a phone call. Hey man, <laughs> you can interrupt me all you want. All right. I had a fantastic fucking weekend. Yeah. I'll tell you. You went to Miami. It went was to uh, Miami. It's your anniversary now. Let's today. say actually huge, today. Oh crap. November eighth. Oh, As, congratulations. Uh, we got married. Uh, eight years ago. Wow. Big round. So round it's our one. eighth. So it eighth. is on the eighth, and it's election day. This whole confluence of events into everything. That's so, right. So this and weekend, you, know you celebrated. Yeah. yeah. We went to uh, Miami and uh, met up with uh, some friends and went to... Uh, man, have you ever been down to the Wynwood District? Yeah. The the outside like art galleries everywhere, and it's just really awesome. Yeah. Where that the was, Art Basel, right? Where they have that yeah, I think, whole yep. area. And there, then yeah. that whole... Uh, there's so many uh, bars and restaurants. It's really nice. Well, we'll talk about that what, in a little he bit. He interrupted me? He is interrupting <laughs> you. Right on. Hold on. Welcome to WJBW, the JB Rev Show. We hope this is our expected guest, but who this be? Hey, it's Peter. Yay. Hey, Peter. Right. There he is. What's going hey, on? Welcome. Guys? Welcome. Hey, buddy. Uh, doing great. Doing great. Thanks for the call in. As, as, uh, hold on. We're going to kind of rearrange some stuff here. All right. There we go. Make some room for him. on. Make some room. We're going to let you uh, sit on the couch. Yeah. We're making some room for you. 
what, what I love, man, is that uh, we got to meet you uh, a little while ago, both of us. Yeah. And I love what uh, you're wearing. I before that heard of your concept, Scott. <laughs> Scotchy conversation. He likes what you're wearing. I do. That's uh, sexy. Yeah. No. <laughs> you should talk. You know, when, whenever I uh, do like a any kind of interview over the phone or anything, even if it's a job interview or something, yeah, yeah. I just take my pants off. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. rule. That's, you that's you, you really doing. dig that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It, it alleviates a little bit of the pressure, yeah. and it's freeing. So I'm oh, sorry I interrupted. Go ahead, sir. No, no, no. no. But a point well made. I think you should do all telephone interviews naked if possible. Uh, that's he didn't say naked. He said the pants, pants off. off. Oh, okay. You're, just, just yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Nobody wants to see his belly. Okay, well, I didn't know. This is junk underneath. Oh, that junk well, we want this to be a serious thing. We met you quite a while ago, and uh, I want it to be relatively serious to the point that uh, you're doing something that's cool, and you're taking it kind of a step further, I will say, and more of an introspective into the person. So awesome. y- your concept is, uh, you know, scotch and good conversations. You have, a, a, you know, conversations with people, and they're relatively topical, and maybe something, you know, to do with their past or their history. And it, it's not, uh, not, not in the sycophant sense, right? It's more like, hey, this is uh, interesting, and people on a granular level are interesting. It's true. I, I, <laughs> wow, you, you made me sound way more interesting than I am. <laughs> uh, I, uh, that's what we do. I, I, uh, Can't uh, it, it, I, I, I basically, it's an excuse to have people come over my house and drink. So, and I, I just realized I had a lot of really super cool friends here in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, so, and if you can break people into bringing you booze, that's actually just a bonus. Why, I don't understand why you're not in the studio with us. Having, having that. Well, yeah. I, you said call because I would have brought a bottle of scotch. Oh, dude. Wow. That's what I do. We yeah, ruined I our. We you ruined totally our ruined our, that, our, that right. JB. Well, then, well, here's what we'll do. We'll have you back in studio sometime down the line. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we'll and, have to hook it up because, uh, actually, I'll tell you what. We're, we're kind of doing some uh, equipment upgrades here, so we really only have uh, yeah. two, two legitimate working mics at the moment. So, my, and my microphone uh, makes me sound like a little girl. Yeah. That could, okay, that's uh, that's right. crazy. Back to you. Thanks so much. All right, but the the, the point uh, the point I want to make, Peter, is that it's cool what you're doing. I, I love it. But uh, you know, go back to the genesis of it, and and maybe even talk a little bit about your roots in um uh, you, you know everyday uh, retail. I think you do. Uh, you, you know, you have something. Uh, you do kind of thrift uh, wise, so I'd love to hear ah! about kind of the collector side of you, you know, and then maybe, oh, yeah. um, you know, any other incarnation of, of you kind of being the the interviewer, you know, or having conversations like this recorded. Do you have a, a past in radio or anything? I, I, like like three four in the eighties, I dreamed of being a rock star. Couldn't do that, so I dreamed of being a DJ. Right. Uh, right. And anybody I, can do I, that. I made a mistake in going to broadcasting school and oh, I did the geez. internship thing at a radio station oh, down south. And Lord. I think it lasted about two weeks before I realized it was terrible. Right. Uh, and I just I couldn't deal with radio as a concept mm-hmm. down south. It, it, right. Radio in general in the 80s was just horrible and hacky. Uh, so I, I, I took these steps down to being like a mobile DJ and doing weddings and parties. And I did that for years and I was relatively good at it. Uh, yeah. Right. Would you do the electric the, the, slide? The, the podcast thing. I'm sorry. Did you do, would you do the electric the, the, slide? The podcast thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I, unfortunately I was forced to, and right. it was one of those things that it was, was I, I, it really enjoyed doing it first. And then it became something that I was getting paid a lot of money to do and hated every second of it. Right. And right. Once it turned into that, I sold my turntables. I sold 3000 records. I sold my lights. And just Uh-oh. went, I, I don't need this in my world. Right, right. And right. I stepped into what, for me, was a corporate thing, doing sales. And I, I was relatively good at that, but I hated every second of it. Wow. Uh, and I've been working for myself ever since. Uh, the podcast thing, thing came up uh, the beginning of 2015, and it, it's actually sort of sad. I... I had a couple deaths in my, my life, oh. like relatively quickly, right? Like, kind of real close together. Okay. And I, I knew I needed something that would just take my mind away from the anniversary of the death. So I just said, you know, fuck it. I'll just start. Can I curse? I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, okay, good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like sitting in my studio, so I'm yeah. just used to saying whatever I want to say. With your so pants off. Uh, I, I, uh, I knew I needed something to kind of just get my mind away from from where my head was bound to go because I knew I was going to be sad. And, and 
a better way than have like your friends come in and talk with you for an hour. Right. right. And, and it, it turned into one of the things that I ask at the end of every interview is, do you know somebody who I don't know? Okay. That's and cool. now that, that brings my friends' friends in. Right. And my friends, my friends are brilliant. They're musicians and artists and, and poets and, and they, they brew beer and they own bars. And, you know, they're, they're all way more talented and way more interested, interesting than I am. And now I'm getting to meet their friends that I don't know. And all of them so far have been just these amazing Orlando people. Right. And, right. and we're just blessed to live in a town that has yeah, so much right. talent and yeah, style. It's endless. And when it's happening at a renaissance. Yeah, for city, I agree. Yeah, where right. we've got restaurants and breweries and 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 wine artisans, places. And, yeah. and I'm so I'm talking a lot. I talk a lot. That's what I do. You no. guys are you've been doing this for years. Well, you guys are at the top of the game. Well, 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 thank you for that. And it's great to get the insight as well, because I think what's important, you know, again, is, is just as you say, there's a lot, uh, there's a wellspring of, of Orlando talent here that can only be, you know, described as just as you have both said, a, kind of a renaissance caliber. I think from, you know, everything from technology uh, to food, uh, there's, there's a whole uh, overwhelming um, culture culture here that yeah. again you know we have to be grateful for and, and nurture and cultivate so that's why we do what we do and i'm sure you do what you're doing kind of for the same reasons have that same labor love you yeah, know you know what i really love about it is because you guys know this and anybody who does podcasting know this is we reach internationally i've i've got listeners all over the world and eventually right. they're going to come to orlando right. and what i try to preach on my show is I understand. Go to Disney, go to SeaWorld, go to university. I get it. That's, that's the main motivation behind, behind coming to Orlando. But venture out from the parks and come in, come into Winter Park and come into to Audubon Park and go right. down to College Park and try the restaurant. Right, go check and, out yeah, you know, the little nooks. The bars and, and listen to the bands and, and see art. And, and it, it's, we've got it. It's just unfortunately we're overshadowed by fucking Disney World. And it drives me crazy because yeah. that's what we're known for. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, it's like come you you go uh, you go for one thing and you discover something completely different. And I think that's the best way you could describe Orlando is that it's the city beautiful in you know multitude layers in perceived glossiness from Disney World to uh, the downright <laughs> perceived glossiness. Yeah, yeah well, you know what I'm, I'm saying. Uh, they go, you know, <laughs> no, you got it. It's a it's a creative bastion here, as we have it uh, in Orlando. So we want to cultivate and nurture that definitely. And I think you know it's great that we have Disney, and it brings a lot of cool stuff here. But like you're saying, it's the subculture and that underculture that I don't know we'll ever get the gratitude or you know uh, the, uh, the we're the, getting it though, dude. Yeah, we we're are, starting to get it. We've got world class restaurants here. Yeah, and, and breweries. That. You can't spit without landing on a decent brewery around here right, yep. and we've always had semi-decent music unfortunately it's it's overshadowed mm, by the backstreet mm, boys and mm, creed but we've right. got <laughs> you guys are music dudes yeah. you know we've got a great music story. well oh, yeah. and that's that's a great point As somebody should bring back and maybe we can work together on this and we're saying it all right now you know blah 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 but <laughs> i'm serious about I'm it game. Uh, orlando uh music awards uh, when they used to do the om the jammies, the, the jammies. <laughs> I mean, yeah bring in something uh, kind of orlando music history awards or some shit i would really love to be a part well, of the that. weekly kind of uh, does that though well but do they yeah every really? year dude yeah the Orlando. Yeah. i mean I, I love the orlando but do they don't get me wrong yeah, but, but I mean, there was su this grassroots thing about the Orlando Music Awards, right? right and, and it right. was our thing. It was right, our right. little yeah. Like, that's right. Uh, that's right. At you the speed the, that the Bob the Carr. Yeah. Yeah, Every no, year. it was huge. It was, I, yeah. I mean, and it, it was, was parlayed a... off the whole jammy, you know. So again, you we need to bring that back and light up Orlando. Uh, there you go, light up Orlando. That's there. another. That's another. <laughs> there he is. Up Look at him over there. <laughs> hey, all right. All right. I, the, I, I, I worked at, go ahead. at like when I first came to town. I worked at Kinko's for ten years, <laughs> yeah. and I, I can Kinko's. guarantee I met you, dude, at some point. Uh, oh yeah, my life <laughs> yeah. We were downtown. making posters for oh. Cluj, I think. Maybe. Pulling up, yeah. I, 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 you guys just had a um, um, 
uh, Jim Faraday and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Dave Dave. Minshew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I've been talking about like great old, not old school. I don't want to say anybody's old because they're all my age. But it's old. classic, uh, right? It's yes, classic Orlando, like classic, <laughs> yeah. refined Orlando gentleman. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, 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 it brought back so many memories listening to, to your show with those guys. Oh, that's awesome. I used to live in the same apartments as Dave. Oh, and the pink the, ones, the right? Pink he lived Orlando. there for like forever, yeah, like twenty years. He lived there. <laughs> so that's why I was like, "Oh, the pink ones." Wow, we got a you know, cross, cross, cross uh, filter effect. The Dave Minshew effect. We'll yeah, man. For that. I'm <laughs> that's awesome. I love me some Dave. That, that dude, that's awesome. He, he, if you looked up dude in the dictionary, I mean, a cool in the dictionary. It, it, you'd yeah, he's there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Dave is the bomb. And uh, we're on the phone with uh, Peter Van Torbsky. Hold on. Torbsky? Did I say it right? For some? <laughs> awesome. you, you're on the phone with Peter. That's, yeah. that's, that's fine. On the phone with Peter of Scotch and Frosan. Uh, and it's a the appropriate conversation. time because uh, he is uh, a, p- a pumpkin eater. What? And it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just, you know, I got to throw that oh, out there. I mean, it tis the season. I'm glad you noticed, finally. It is, Hold on you know, one second. Hold on one second. Google right. that right now. He's putting his pants back on. And now let's is get partying forever. There he is. Yeah, that was good. Is that a little better? I was on, like, headphones. Can you hear me a little yeah, better? Yeah, I can, actually. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. We can hear you good. Yeah, it's a good. <laughs> on the line with Peter of Scotch and Good conversations uh find it go find i think that's the website go go out there scotch and good conversations.com uh scotch he, he's out on itunes and again this is really i guess more of a drilled down focus you just kind of pop a really high quality mic in a good room and and you guys have at it you know uh, do you, i guess my question is do you kind of come up with some kind of mutually hey you know we got these little tag points um, you know, because we understand it's the dynamics of having a conversation and then being able to answer the question in an intelligent way and then doing that when you're on a microphone or something, it can come out a little muted or different or what have you. So is it, is it, do you find yourself doing a lot of editing or are you able to kind of, you know, get in sync with people? What's your process? I, well, I, I, when people come on the show, I ask them to come at me with three questions and I'll answer anything. Like, uh, and that's I, I love that. That's I cool. love the, so they kind of ask the you. element of sort of almost danger. People going to ask me anything, and I'm going to ask them seven questions. Uh, what normally happens over the course of an hour and a half is I'll wind up having a real conversation, and I'll tell some story that I've told a thousand times, and the podcast, the people who listen have probably heard three or four times. Uh, right. As far as editing goes, what I do is I. I typically edit most of myself out because I'm a little bit uh, long-winded in case you guys haven't noticed. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> it, 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 thank you. <laughs> um, but, but, it, but what I want to shine is my guests. I want them to, to be able to advertise or talk about what they're going to do. Right, right. And it, it, in a perfect world, what happens is it becomes a real conversation and the guest doesn't even notice that there's two mics in the room. Oh. And it happens around 80% of the time. I think sometimes it's it's a little forced and it's a little bit of work. Right, right. Uh, but I, even that, there, there's ever. I've never had one that I walked away and said that that was a train wreck. Right. You so, know, and I, I, I love that. I, I, I love the fact that it's, it's an hour and a half of my life that I don't look at my phone and I don't check my Facebook and I don't look at Instagram. Right. And we have a strict rule, like if, if we're talking about somebody who produced a record in the '80s. Okay. We don't look it up on the phone. You don't. We we just we that try to figure it, it out, and then if we difficult. don't get it, we don't okay. get it. it it's, okay. It's the way it used to be. You just let it go. It's what I miss yeah. about. I love two that. Yeah. In the morning conversations. Yeah. Nice. Not having that uh, d- uh, data all at your uh, finger disposal. Yeah. You're like, oh, what is it? Oh, yes. So, so hey, to keep in theme with uh, with your your show, I've got a question for you. Can 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 I ask you anything? All right. Hit me. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're gonna ask. Yeah. 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 All right, so oh, yeah, yeah. my question to you, Peter, oh, okay. is uh, how old were you when your dad caught you fornicating what? with the dog? Okay, this is that's <laughs> horrible. That's well, horrible. he said I could ask wow. anything. Asinine. I mean, come on. My dad Fucking never caught you fornicating with oh, the dog. Oh, he never, he never caught oh. you. So you, how long did you get away with it? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm so sorry, Peter. And he never caught me with that either. Oh, uh, uh, see, the truth comes yeah, out. I, uh, and and I, I've been—that's that, it. I've been waiting for somebody to ask me a question like that. <laughs> the last question I've had 
was <laughs> who are you voting for? Oh, geez. And, and where'd you put the bodies? And that's I, I'm. If you listen to the podcast, I'm, I'm right. fairly free with who I voted for today. Okay. Uh, are you with her? We'll, 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 or are you? I'm trump, sorry? Are you with her? Or did you trump it up? No, no, I, I didn't vote for either. I third party, dude. I, oh. I, I just fuck both of them. Hey, they're, it, they're it, pointless. As long as you voted no yeah, on we'll, one and yes on two. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> and uh, well, yes on the, the third one too. That that uh, first responders thing yep, was it, fairly important. Also, it's just no on uh, one and yes on all. Yeah, kinda, I, kinda, uh, kinda. Um, I I waited until the last minute and I, I voted today and I Me voted too. third party because I I believe hey, the whole too. system is rigged and yeah. eventually if we got a third party in, rigged. maybe it won't be rigged. But yeah. you say, what, what way, in and what way is it rigged? rigged? What, how do you think it's rigged though? That's what I because yeah, but, there's so much money yeah. involved in anything. I mean, Donald yeah. Trump is he's ridiculous. He's not real. He, he's not. A, I, I think he's just caught up in the game. And, and totally. Also, uh, and and if if he's if he is real, he's working for the the Clinton people to get her elected. I mean, this is all predestined, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. Bernie, uh, they didn't take Bernie into, into yeah, consideration, so they just wiped yeah. it out of the equation. So you're saying Donald Trump is the best Democrat ever, kind of sounds <laughs> like. <laughs> no, I'm saying he, he's the best <laughs> businessman ever. Oh, okay. We're talking about him, and I don't want to talk about that stuff. You know, yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, okay. he's, he's an asshole, but you got to admire the fact that for the last two years, he's had his brand shoved in front of our face. To the point where it, where I'm talking about it right now and don't want to, but it makes me so angry. It makes me mad too, man. Let me tell you what. Um, you know what? I don't want to talk about Wolfman Jack over uh, there. Hey, man, what are you I would. Doing? I don't want to talk about <laughs> this well, politics God, bullshit. You turn no your mic down. For I'll something. tell you what, man. Oh this politics God. crap go to okay. hell. <laughs> Come on. I vote Did for I vodka. At all? He's have not. You, you doing Skype interviews? Uh, we don't. Yeah, I will yeah, take a look yeah, at you. We, we you, can do that. I want to um, see you do no pants on. We're, we're, <laughs> we're trying to do a minimal ride on the bandwidth because everything's live. I would. I would do the Skype interviews with my pants off too. What? There, there, there goes the bombshell. Yeah. There it was. <laughs> All right. The firecracker. I hate them, mama. A firecracker's going off, baby. Oh. So, hey, Pete. Tur. Talking, yeah. w- talking with Peter Tur. of Scotch and Good Conversations. Yeah. I want to know when. when I yeah. want to go on Scotty. Or Peter's you want to go on his show? I'm gonna call him you Scotch. Just, just take the reverend. I want to call him Scotch. Anytime you want. <laughs> uh, what do, What kind of uh, what? Scotch do you normally provide? What? <laughs> I'm going to. You know, we, we have drink, you not been um, paying attention? pretty shitty Scotch here, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, I've had some decent bottles gifted to me, but I picked up and I, I, I you know, what's funny is I can't tell you what the name of it is, but I can tell you where it is. And, uh, in and Whole Foods? Total Wine. Or Total Wine. I'm walking to my liquor cabinet. No, it's not in the liquor cabinet. It's on the countertop. Uh, I have. What do you got? An eight year old bottle of McCarran Glen of the Glen in my hands right oh, now okay. that I picked up tonight. Because nice. I was out of scotch. So the Glen area is I actually did. a smokier um, scotch. Am I yeah, correct? see, that's what I dig. Yeah, I, 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 I like exactly. a little peat, a little smoke oh, to it. I know my yeah, scotch. Well, you know your oh, scotch. You got to come do. on the show, dude. And- exactly. That's why I'm there asking. You, you should have the Reverend exclusively. Dude, I, I've like, got some stories for you. Yeah, Let me tell you. Go. Have the and Reverend the, over, and that'll be a good you, representation. You can, you can, you can I sit on my lap. I'll make it awkward. Want, I'll make it awkward with my leotard and all that. It will not. yeah. I mean, that's what he's wearing now. Yeah, yeah. Which one of you just asked me about fucking my dog? What? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> okay. So okay, I, yeah, it's good. You come on the show. Both of you guys come on the show. I, I'd love you to have you. Because if anything else, besides the whole podcast radio thing, right, uh, right. you guys are old music guys. You, you've, you've been in the scene for as long as I've been in town, as far as I can tell. It's true. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Rev, you're into like techno and house music and stuff, right? I'm into any kind of music like, that's done yeah, well. We love, we love we like good, it all. good music. I don't like to limit sure. myself to yeah, any, any one genre. That, that that was my wheelhouse for a really long time. Like, right. I, I oh, was cool. I, I I moved up from a redneck town down south, and all of a sudden we had such a good techno scene here in in the like the early '90s in, in right. Orlando. Yeah. And oh, I, I loved it. And and the doing? great part, and and I'm kind of sad about this. Was I was a mildly good boy back then. I didn't really do drugs, mm. so I would go to these these, these raves, and mm. I'd be the only one there. Not what were you a cop? Some sort of <laughs> which, which was an interesting perspective to watch these things. I, right. I loved it. I, right. It was 
It was the closest thing to seeing punk rock in the, in the 70s. Right. Well, I tell you what, we do not condone the drug use at okay. all. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I kind of condone the drug I, use now. I, I, well, I, I, back then. I voted yes on number two because, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, it's medicinal. You know, it's like medicine for yeah. the old people. That's right. Right. And that's me. I'm old. Yeah. So well, I'm glad you noticed, finally. Uh, well, it's been nice having uh, talked Peter to Peter yeah. of uh, Scotch and on. Good Conversation. You should go exclusively, I, you should invite the Reverend over there for kind of a more of a one on one session because I think I would wonk it up. You know, I, I you do. probably would wonk I would, it up because I'd but be I would like have all some fidgety. Serious, yeah, you and could I'd bring a nice Glenn uh, Smoky Scotch as oh, well. He's going to bring the same kind of Scotch <laughs> that you got well, right now. But he might not have that Scotch where you go there, Bill Cosby. So cut yeah, it out. Stop you, that. You Put it down. You stay here. Stop that. What if, where do you guys come from? You, I'm, I'm sure you've talked about this, but I didn't huh? well back in your shows. Yeah. You guys have been in town for a long time, right? Well, I was born here, so okay. uh, I've been here my whole life, and uh, I've been part of yeah, this. Really? Yeah, really. And I was born in That's the, the 60s. Reverend. I'm the Reverend. Uh, you're the cock, baby. <laughs> 69. That's the Reverend. Okay. Uh, born in Winter Park. I've been uh, here. You know, yeah. I lived in Miami for a couple of years in the 90s, like 93. Uh, and that was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. But they call those back. the uh, no, it, dial soap years. I think it. <laughs> yeah, his memoirs. Those are <laughs> the, the dial lost years. Yeah, but, the early nineties, uh, the nineties in general, especially early nineties, were an interesting, messy. They were a lot of fun. A lot of those things, time of our lives. So you, you guys, I'm guessing you're about the same age I am. You're, I'm 49. Uh, no, you're, you're probably younger. You're younger. Old, I'm two years younger. I just turn uh forty. Okay. I'm I was like I just I'm year sixty nine, man. You're the cock, baby. So you're sixty seven. I'm right? That's, I'm the youngest. Wow, that's what feels weird. Right. So wait, Peter's sixty seven. What? <laughs> yeah, he said yeah, he was sixty seven. Yeah, he was on. Year, uh, who was year on the weasel? Golden Pond. The weasel he is Peter Fonda. <laughs> the weasel. Uh, Peter Fonda from On Golden Pond. Yeah, Cocoon. <laughs> I believe in Cocoon. It. Uh, Where are you going with this? <laughs> There's no way I would get you guys both in here. Cocoon at the same time Matata. It would be a mess. Yeah, it, it would. would be crazy. Trust me. It'd but be, you l- rock. L- buddy. Listen to how messy it is right now, yeah. Peter. I mean, you, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a you're mess. fantastic. You're a fantastic kid. Yeah, Don't man. ever change. Uh, yeah, I, and I love that you kind of gave us, peeled us way back into the musical roots as well, because I think uh, that's important for anybody to understand art appreciation, music appreciation. And awesome. in this day and age, when you have access to technology and can present something in a certain way, I think it's important you take that opportunity and to do it. That's a responsibility. If somebody says, oh, you can do it, doesn't mean that you should do it. Well, give it back what? to the community. If you, yeah, if you can do it and you're not doing it, then that's, you know, shame on you. So uh, we want to encourage people to go check you out if they're turned on Absolutely. to this, you know, the, this for the first time. I think that's fantastic. So that's what we always kind of want to keep to be the conduit. Uh, and you're out there rocking and rolling. So we appreciate you for, for wow. doing that, brother. You rock. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Which one of you guys is the sound effect guy? Uh, that's me. The cool ones are me. <laughs> now, see that? That's JB you, over you there. You both have sound effects? Yeah, man. It's like, uh, Can you do a sound awesome. effect more right now for me, please? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Google that right now. I'm all freaking out, dude. I'm freaking out, dude. All right. I, I, I think that's damn, good. mama. That's okay, I think that's, that's I was I just kind of see you do it. Wow, um, yeah. That, no, no more. No, no, no more. Oh God, that JB, that he goes crazy. That's the thing that that JB goes fucking finger crazy over there, and it's ridiculous. Don't do it again. Don't finger do banging it. this iPad. We'll no, be right I'm, back. JB. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't even imagine how much having that much equipment in my room. Like I, I just I literally I've got like a oh, dude. 2007 MacBook and two microphones. Oh, here there's, there's there's equipment the, all over the place. The amount of equipment like... I have. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've each got androids that fill in for us, so, even though the show is only an hour and a half. Like we have real life androids like from Westworld. Yeah, they sit it's in awesome. There. Yeah, actually, they were the ones that went to WPRK as well. So we have never actually met you, but it's awesome to have spoken with you for all of this time. You rock, Bubba. Yeah, man, Peter. Thanks, buddy. Um, I do thank want you guys, to. Thank you guys so much. You guys, you guys, guys really are, are the real deal. And, and the, all right, all right. I, I really would like to have both of you on the podcast. Yeah, we'll have point. to have you in. Come we'll, have my dog bark at you. You sit in the green <laughs> chair. We get drunk. We talk about Orlando. Nice. Uh, it, it's uh 
I had it, to take an Uber it, out of there or something. It's not rocket science. It's real easy, and it's we have a good time here. It, it's uh, right. I haven't lost a victim yet. Well, and I saw I'm upcoming you up on you're this. recording a session with uh, Smiling Bison. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Elliot. Like, Elliot. Last yeah. night. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's, that's a great cool. conversation, and that's the kind of thing I think that exemplifies, you know, again, what is so awesome about Orlando is that a guy who's got his head down and busting his ass every day and making great food is a fucking rock star, <laughs> right? That's what, it's, and he is, that's what it's all that, about. That kid rules. Yeah. I, I, I yeah. barely met him. Like, I bumped into him one night, and uh, I was like, dude, come be on the show. And, and I, I live up the street from Smiling Bison, and, oh, and, and right I love the restaurant. Yeah. I, I well, let's put it this way. I lived up the street from where the second red light red light was. Oh, okay. And okay. and now I've, I'm in between the second red light and where the smiling bison is, at least for now. Right, right. Uh, and 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 I love the fact that I can I, I'm I'm stationed in between both these stellar things that are happening in Orlando. Yeah, right. And I talked to him. He's the sous chef over the, over there, so he's pretty much the man. And he came in here, and the kid is so smart and so spot on and humble and amazing and at the at the end of every Not show I was like oh, you're my new friend i tell people you're my new friend and i think i mean it because i got to meet yeah. these people that that are just important in our city and bring something of value to orlando that's fantastic right on right on it's fantastic. been good having you peter peter from uh scotch and good conversations uh, uh on the line dumping praise uh, worthy of praise without question wow. Up on the 8 o'clock hour, it's hashtag loud and clear edition. So uh, following this session, hang on the line with us, Peter. I love you Hey, we love you. Hey, hang on the line, brother. <laughs> hang, hang tight. We'll talk to you off air. Uh, we're going to play a little bit of music, go a little bit of uh, intercontinental, uh, and then and then return. Oh, you don't like that? All right. Dig, all right. Shut up. Uh, we'll be right back. Do the effects. WJBW right. Networks. Yeah. Yeah. Dig it.
WJBW, Orlando, Florida. The first quasi-radio web show. Wow. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Welcome that back. was good. That was you know, a good one. I like that one. All right. That was a good talk. Uh, Peter, he's a cool guy. Yeah, so he's cool. There you go. That was good. Uh, yeah. I think it would be good almost maybe to sequ- like a, s- separate us and see if we come up with the same stories because your stories There's no way in hell. Are, I know your stories, stories well, are like from the guttural depths of legendary dragons in outer space. You don't have those kind of sound effects. Dude. No, they're, that, they're deep. My okay. stories are deep. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> see? They're deep like a submarine. Okay. Nice. And yeah. See. All, All right. right. That's great. The hey. Reverend across the way from me what at, up? at Radio JB Web on what Twitter. Up? You can hit me up there yeah. or uh, wjbwnetworks.com. dot uh, What I thought I'd do, uh, man. That, that bacon salt. Mm. Oh, okay. Casey's oh, you want to talk? Gone. Yeah. Pocahontas dot com. I gotta say, Pocahontas. we got that the, that gift box. We got that care package. Oh, and, Dave Minshew got some stuff. Faraday got some stuff. We got. We got the short end of the stick. Maxines. What? Is moving into where Graffiti Junction? No, that's is. not happening. That's did a lie. Not, yeah, is did that you a not prank? Read on. No, jeez, you need what to do your say? research. That, that was like two weeks old too. You are not what very current. Say? With what did the, it say? It said that it was going to move to Graffiti Junction in, in a Thornton Park, but that's not going to happen because, first of all, Graffiti Junction is not going anywhere. Well, and they're going into where Wild Sides. Well, it was, oh, they are. Yeah, well, that's. I mean, Wild Sites is going, and Graffiti Junction's going up there, Whoa. and then Maxine's is going in the back. I thought that's no, that was a legitimate news source. No, because they like. Uh, I, I saw on. a follow up on it, and Maxine was okay. like, you know, they like the uh, the warmth and the the intimacy of the location that they're in, with you know the whole kissing booth chapel in the back and everything like okay, that. I so mean, they don't want to leave that. There's definitely character in that building. Yeah. You know, and right. why would they want to leave? Well, plus per I mean square inch, it's probably fantastic. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Uh, Make, uh, they're they're right. they're doing very well. Their brunches are very very good. Their food is amazing. Their their wine selection. I mean, with uh, Kurt, the what I mean, his, his wine knowledge is bar none to anyone else in Orlando. So I right. mean. The the wine selection alone is is uh, worth checking it out. But then they've got an amazing chef. So we'll see what happens. And Maxine with right? you know bringing in the talent and blah blah blah. What? They're, that's a great place. Great 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 place. Love uh, the uh, love the Maxines. Yeah, no, it's good. I saw a post the other day. So wait, we were talking about Pocahontas and you brought up Maxines. Yeah. So what? Why why would we uh, stray away from the Pocahontas? Well, let's get away from that for a second because I remember uh-huh. this. Uh, I'll throw this up here. It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's J Mac and Rad Boy. Yeah, Wes Archer's influential animated short. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. guess from Night Flight. I saw it originally. I followed Night Flight. Mm-hmm. They played the. <laughs> Wahoo! Yeehaw! Jack Mac, someone's blowing. Go blow, go. Go, go, party, go, primo, <laughs> oh, tomato. <laughs> it's like the weakest animation ever, like in nineteen seventies. So wait, you stopped me from talking about Pocahontas to play this Let's crap? Go. Yeah, this is this makes for great. Uh, uh, are you watching? So animation is what you're watching. <laughs> It's because the sound is fucking awful, bro. I'm glad you stopped me from talking about Pocahontas to fucking go into that clip. Well, I had you to be. I I, I need you to be serious about that. I, I'm it's, very serious. You want to try to record a commercial though, but your voice is uh, is raspy. Uh, I have to go there, man. I just Carly's wanted to say how good oh. the the bacon salt, oh. Casey's bacon salt is. Yeah, and the milk sauce is awesome. What did you get out of the the, uh, the deal? Uh, we got the strawberry, the blueberry, and the Jesse Martin. Uh, oh, it was all good. It just, yeah. And I think uh, uh, so, uh, I think um, Faraday got the, the Terry Binion sauce, and okay. I think uh, Minshew got the Gargamel. I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure either. No, I think uh, we, uh, uh, that, they're Murray. all amazing. Bill Murray got that one. Bill Murray. <laughs> Man, it was it was awesome having them. That, that was the last time I was here was when they were here. Yeah, I know. And last yeah, week, Clay we took- was here, Clay yeah. Watson, which was badass that he yeah. actually, you know how many bands, and that's what I wanted to say, he sits in, in a lot of bands, right? 
<laughs> he sat in for you for the show. Yeah. Uh, so he's, he's sitting really in good at everywhere. That. That's he, what I'm saying. He is fantastic he guy. Is he's very total easily molded. utility player. Yeah. yeah. That was fantastic. So uh, he oh. sat in for you. I mean, it was because, you know, the night before I saw Max oh. Abbott, I had to yeah. work all day. And it yeah. was, that was, uh, I was really, you were you dead. Know, I left, yeah, I left work early that day. Yeah. Um, I was. So back to uh, Miami this weekend in the Goose Goose. Yes. Oh man, I have, let me tell you. First of all, so you were at Bardo. Bardo, yeah. Bardo. Which, it's uh, which is short for uh, Bridget Bardo. Okay. Um, and it's a really uh, cool space. It's called a. Uh, they like to say uh, you know, seeing a, a band on the on the carpet, uh-huh. because um, it's a different dance floor. It's got a big, huge like, uh, you know, rug, and uh, it's just uh, the the sound system. There is, uh, I don't know, it's, I, I was talking to um, Kimball, actually, about this, and, uh, uh, you know, wh- what sound system is, and he's like, it's something they, they created their own, and so, it, it's just that, that room, the way okay. it's, it's, just, I mean, it's hard to describe, but the they music, the sound is amazing. For, Let's just put yeah, it that way. Okay. I mean, anything that are that there any hear. architectural features that amplify or enhance? Not really. The sound? I think oh. maybe maybe the carpet might help it. I don't know, but uh, it's uh, definitely got a different sound huh. to the room. And maybe there's and cork uh, somewhere, you know, because that is very well. No, there's no cork anywhere. No but cork. Uh, no I'll, cork. I'll tell you this: we this know. concert, Goose Goose, was. Uh, I mean, we were so close. I mean, we waited next to. Uh, uh, where the stool was, where we knew he was going to be the singer, uh, Daniel, and, and he's um, got great pictures. I mean, they oh were like, sta- like, like you were you f- see the, breathing. The you could have read his his what he was yeah. reading on his menu. Dude, I can I could literally touch his microphone. Okay, from where where we were. Like, give me that. Give me that. Is that what you did? That's totally what I did, man. <laughs> I was I, I did kind of geek out, and then I got to you know, of course, meet him at at the end of the. The show, and I was, you know, geek and fam. You know how I fanboy out sometimes, dude. But that's awesome. You like, got, you've had a lot of badass experiences I know, since I, met, I saw you, and it's yeah. worthy of talking about, just especially in the regard of, uh, you know, the the Max Sabbath. You went there as Burger King, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah the enti- the when, enemy, that one time that Jeff the, Nolan filled in for me, and I went to see Kraftwerk, and then got yeah. to meet them. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, and you well, know. so where are they? Why aren't they calling us? <laughs> well, because I I fanboy out on them, I'm oh, like you, you know, gush, burger, you gush, burger, burger, burger. I, you know, it's just yeah. That's uh, that's kind of how I skipped around after I met Goose Goose, um, and then the the one Goose Goose was uh. Very uh, feminine. I mean, he had on high heels. Uh, okay. He had on uh, a bright red like lipstick, bright know. red blush, blue eyeshadow. Okay. Like, totally yeah, I like, like how you know, you know all of the Well, no. I mean, you can look of, at the pictures. I mean, yeah. it's it's very obvious, like, women colors. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> blue eyeshadow, red blush, and red all right. lips. All right. um, it was very, uh, it was obnoxiously, uh, obnoxiously sexual. Okay. Which <laughs> is actually offended no, that's by... actually the name of one of their songs. So okay. obnoxiously right. sexual. Look right. it up. Should I? Uh, um, you want me to try to find a little sample? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you can. I mean, they played. Dude, this guy's voice, by the way, is just a fucking like an angel. Costume and uh, costume. What's costume? No, obnoxiously sexual. Gus Goose Goose. Um, it's uh, and Goose Goose is spelled Gus Gus. That's how Americans say it, but it's pronounced Goose Goose. Goonie Goo Goo, which okay, is something so I was saying a lot in Miami. Goonie Goo Goo. Goonie Goo Goo. I would say that. Goonie Goo Goo. You're crazy, Papa. You, you know what Goonie Goo Goo is from? Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, it's uh, very famous. You actually, you know what? Pull this up. I have um, something I'm pulling, uh, that I'm right. waiting to put. Stop pulling on me, bro. What? I'm, I'm waiting right. to right. do this. Play it. Play it. Is this the Goose Goose, uh, what, obnoxiously sexual? Yes, it is. That is obnoxiously sexual. And that's how uh, he was wearing his makeup. With the high heels. I mean, he was already tall. And then with his heels on, he was All right, so there you go. Tall. I just liked it. So it'll be on Twitter and Facebook. Thing. Awesome. I like it. Yeah. Dude, the, the, the music is splendid. And then his voice. 
But actually, uh, this is. Yeah, this is actually another singer. This isn't Daniel singing right there. This is the long, blonde haired ego dude. They were so nice, too, right, by the well, way. That's badass. So, all right, now uh, type in a Goonie Goo Goo, and it's G O O N I E Goo Goo. And uh, listen to the clip of that because that's what I was saying to quite a few people when uh, I'd approach them, especially because we went to probably like 15 different Is bars. It Gus Gus Goonie Goo Goo? No, it's not Goose Goose Goose. It's just put in Goonie Goo Goo. G O N G O O N I Goo Goo. <laughs> and it's uh, Eddie Murphy. And uh, let me play the Goonie Goo Goo uh, clip because it is funny, dude. Okay. I can't believe you, you're not familiar with this. I think I've heard of it, yeah. Uh, you, there's a, um, we've all seen it's this movie. It's a 12-minute clip. No, there's another Goonie Goo Goo. What's today's date? Yeah, there's another smaller Goonie Goo Goo. Like a two-minute clip. Oh, yeah, that's... Don't go to cookouts. Don't go to cookouts. I hate cookouts, man. What? Stay away from cookouts. Come on. If you like me, you stay the fuck okay. away from cookouts. <laughs> he was awesome though. Uh yeah. so you, you can't say I mean Eddie Murphy was the shit dude. Oh dude. And he still is he, for two minutes. What? And I think what the f All right, you got me searching like in bad Just, audio land. So oh, wow. uh, what what is the point? Uh, what uh, it's funny Goo -Goo. as fuck and it's very Video. short. And I would say I'd come up because, you know, the, these millennials, I mean that's pretty old. That's from like, you know, the early ninety or eighties even, I think. And that from the 80s? This is the good call I get from you. I recognize your stupid Mick accent. <laughs> My what? Your stupid Irish accent, the Mick accent. This is a, you know? some old radio bit or something. Know, what are you, so yeah, sorry, that is. Goo -goo. Oh, yeah. see. That's what? Goo -goo. That's not even the... Anyways. All right, yeah, you're, that's an Easter egg I'm not going to find. It was, uh, it was nice. Find it when uh, it starts smelling. Saying that to some okay. people like you. Goonie Goo Goo. Goonie Goo -goo. Thanks for that uh, K-hole. Of a show. <laughs> Thanks for putting me What do you in know a, about K hole? A K hole, man. Uh, I don't even want to know. I don't know what you're talking about. That's just not the right thing to talk about, man. I'll tell all you right. what. Okay, all right. Keep it in your. Keep you know what, you know what K stands for, right? Relax. Kimball Collins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Kanuna yeah. Montana. Yeah, Kimball anyway. Hole. I like my frittata with vegetables. That's right. Anyway, the JB Rev show. This is here. This That's is what us. we're doing, apparently. Yeah. Uh, Dead Kennedys in the land. It's through Eventbrite. Yeah. Do you think that's legit? I mean, I guess no one. Uh, uh, yeah, it's yeah. legit, dude. It's legit. Sure? It's too okay. legit to quit. Okay. Do you know about it? <laughs> dude. You, you can't know touch something? This. Okay. You can't touch this. There he goes. <laughs> Amen. There he goes. Now you that look. you got everything out, uh, do you want to try a run of? Uh, and I kind of—I don't even know if I have music. What? All right, you want to try a run at a commercial for Polka's Hottest? Uh, you know, just uh, just Which a brand. Polka's Hottest dot com. Order Polka. online today. You know, something Polka. that would be helpful Polka. just in branding of the website at least. Uh, you know, Polka. no, don't. You don't have to make up a song. <laughs> I'm making a jingle, motherfucker. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's how my brain works. When we first, think about the jingle, oh my God. and then what we're gonna say. Okay, beautiful mind. Let's. <laughs> okay. This is some hot shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't say that's some hot shit, but. All right, well, it, I'll try a, to grab that later. You want to do it again? All right, uh, I'll turn me down. I'm just kidding. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. I think I lost some of my voice from uh, okay. the uh, Now you the can't weekend. do the VO. So you I, can't do the, the VO. VO. What's the VO? The voice over. Oh, yeah, I can do the, oh, the VO. Yeah, you're going right. to do that. All right, let me turn my a, mic down I could have had again. a V8, but instead, we're talking about the Boca Hottest. Boca, Boca, Boca. In the hot tub. <laughs> that's, that's what I think. Eddie Murphy. Goonie goo goo. Okay. <laughs> Goonie. Oh my God. All right. Come stop. on. Wait, wait. Let's, let's, You're not let's giving us let's anything. Let's do the poke no, Come on. Just, hold on. Goonie goo goo. You're, try, you're peeking out your mic like Wait, a dork bag. Yeah. All right. You don't need to talk that loud. You I'll should tell save you what, your voice. Okay. Is, why are you so. Hey, man. Why are you so cool? Because I'm drinking the hot sauce. Okay. It's all about the hot. <sighs> Tommy Mott's hot. Oh. <laughs> Polka hot as. Yeah, there we go. 
I'll go with that, that too. Puka hot is. Puka. <laughs> Dude. It's hot sauce. Okay, do something. All right, stop. Hot, come hot, on. Hot, sexy sauce. Are you going to really do something? You're not. Dude, come on. You can't put me on the it? spot. Like, the thing might go out. Yeah, <laughs> right. There we go. Back to right. the jury. Okay. Thank you. No more, <laughs> that. No more drugs, that. Joey. I guess, Joey. I got, I'll use that later. My I real guess. friends call me Joey now. Uh-huh. Joey? <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Joey. Seriously, they do, actually. Like a four-year-old? <laughs> Joey. Joey. <laughs> hey, Joey. <laughs> oh, my really good friend, my, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know no, it's only when they're talking to me. <laughs> Because I understand my name that much Joey. better when it's say Andrew. Hey, Joey. Joey. <laughs> what would you say? Like I'm Fred Armisen or something. You know Joey. I'm going to have to start saying what? that when, uh, when I like, like right. place an order to, for pickup or something. What? What's your name? Joey. <laughs> the river in his bag. <laughs> Joey. Okay. <laughs> You're a monster. That's my name. It's spelled J E R W E. Okay. Jerry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. I, we yeah. went nowhere. Uh, Dead Kennedy. Where are we going? Are go. we going to I Dead Kennedy's know. together? I don't know. Let's go there. Hey, we should go to that uh, escape room in yeah. uh, De- Daytona. Oh, yeah. I thought you already did that. No, I didn't. It's still there, isn't it? Is yes. it still open for business? <laughs> Yeah, I heard I believe, that place is bad. It's so good it is, when people go, they uh-huh. they can never leave. Yeah, because it's a like really hard man. to escape from that yeah. room. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so, but it's it, that hard <laughs> that people when they go, I, they stay. Uh, okay, and yeah. it it costs a lot to leave. <sighs> yeah, it's true. I hey, you know, I got this. All I can uh, do is breathe heavy. Weekend. That's my script. That's because you know, breathe heavy. If uh, just gonna let me have the floor, I'll, I'll go crazy. Because you know, that's uh, the way. Uh, I, I was told this weekend that uh, I need to to slow down, slow uh-huh. my roll. Okay, who and told I, you that? Who I've told been you? doing. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, but uh, <laughs> like, dude, man, you well, think, relax, relax, man. Dana, no, it wasn't Dana. Dana knows. She knows. I'm like this knows all the time. She knows how you roll. Yeah. So uh and I've got another friend that he's got a uh, heart monitor thing. <laughs> and I'm I'm plugging into it, right? <laughs> what? And, and I'm really my resting heart rate is very high. Come on. It's very high. It's uh too high. So like I told you, man. No, nope, I'm nope. out of breath telling you. No. Nope. But I'll tell you this. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna slow my heart down. I'm all freaking out, dude. I'm freaking out, dude. There you go. There you go. That's it. You caught it here first. Yeah, that was you. Well, I know that was me. <laughs> that was you, man. Twice. Yeah. Hey, man. Freaking well, freaking I think you're out. just freaking out. I, you just, don't even you know, using somebody else's heart monitor is the worst. It's no. It's lead what, into it, it's a story. I've ever it was an app where you just oh. stick your finger. You got to put your tongue okay, on well, the. You uh, over glamorized it then. The uh, glamour shots. But yeah, <laughs> over glamorized it. <laughs> Doing, oh, you were well, doing, well, doing well, glamour well, shots well, to you. Shit, dude. Google that right now. Seriously. Seriously. Fucking asinine. That's not me. That's a Mr. Nolan. Okay. There you go. Anyways. Mr. Secret hey. Guy. Yeah. Let's play some music. We'll get the hell out of here. Thanks for joining us. Hey. Uh, the Reverend gonna, Across the Way. Next week. Rock, yeah. Let's, what? Talk, let's talk about uh, the special guests that I'm bringing in here. What are you doing? I'm going to bring. No. D- tell me off the thing so we sure? can make sure. Yeah. Because uh, you need to get a you microphone, don't your, you? You and your. <laughs> Maybe we can rent one. Grandy. Rent one. <laughs> Uh, rent one from uh, they got this place we'll called get it worked out rent a wheel I, like uh, for your car uh, uh, and they have microphones uh, uh, that you can uh, uh, rent a mic. Uh, 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 it's true. I'll tell you what, man. You can Google it right now. It's like Clay Watson said we. Get, I can go to Tony Roman up there if I need a microphone. But oh, okay, come on, then, uh, for real, know, brother. Let's call. Clay. I'm just gonna do, no. I have to go Did get bring new any, XLR. Did he I just bring haven't any done brisket? it yet. His brisket. No, he didn't. Oh. He said next time though. Oh, he he would brings food, yeah. Oh, uh, so that's a fuel barbecue. Oh. There, you go check that fuel out. Fuel barbecue, Polka's hottest Go check them out. Hey, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm glad you said that because uh, I think tomorrow. Uh, I know Dana's uh, yeah, listening. Yeah, and uh, I think. Uh, oh, that's all one person tomorrow, that explains should, uh, it. 
go to uh <laughs> is it really only no i'm just kidding okay <laughs> say jeez um but yeah i'm thinking that brisket that clay watson brisket is so melting your mouth delicious okay we got we have a special guest at the house too i'm not going to say any names but pocahontas she's uh making okay. making some sauce in the back bedroom what? <laughs> just you just kidding. going? I'm trying to make out. your. Uh, All right, you're going away. What do you, you want to do? What are you trying to do? You want to do a bo? What? The, oh, your poker's hottest thing. Now <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, catching up to that. No, what? Just, that was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want to try it play. before we no, go? No, here? no, oh, no. Well, then stop. What are you doing? Uh, you know what I do. What are you doing? That's what I do. All right. All right. So yeah, you're breaking into some music, right? You can play some Dead Kennedys. Networks. <laughs> They're no, delaying. I don't have them. Twenty dollars, but I'd love to. No, I have them on my uh, iPod. Actually. Oh, you do? Yeah. From Your when I iPod. when I was a teenage Is that girl. A thing still? Uh, yeah. <laughs> still on my iPod. <laughs> wow. Well, when I was a teenage girl, I've heard of these uh, uh, things called anyway phones Pens. or little TVs. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have those too. Yeah, but that's the whole idea of it. It's great. It's, yeah. Great. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. You'll no, watch. It's time to go. Your watch is signaling us that it's oh, time to go. It is time to go. Right. But it has been fun. Thank you, brother. You and next week, All right, a we'll special see guest. We'll see on the big, big time, dude. We're talking like uh, Seminole County. Okay. Well, like, we'll we'll announce it as we can. So. Oh. Uh, well, you want to announce it now? No. Okay. I don't. You don't I'm, want I'm to. Just, I'm just fucking with you anyways. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So there you go. Can Traveling in stereo closes us out. See ya. Kevin me.
People would really prefer that.